Hello and welcome to Telegraph Studios. I'm Alastair Greener and today we're talking about the cloud. And joining me is Peter Dewsbury from Arcus Global. Good morning. Good morning. So first of all, you know, we hear this term an awful lot, don't we? It's a big buzzword that's going around. What exactly is the cloud? OK, so for me, cloud computing is all about the opportunity to do things differently. So to change the way in which you're working, uh, based around modern, interactive, open and uh, flexible technologies. So your company, Arcus, work particularly with the public sector. So what are their biggest challenges at the moment in that regard? So the biggest challenge in the public sector right now is deficit reduction. So what they're looking for is 40% reductions in budgets typically and doing that through the traditional methods of salami slicing, perhaps outsourcing, a uh, bit of be basic bit process re-engineering, that 10%, that's not going to cut it. They're also looking at, okay, how is it we're making decisions? How is it that we can bring our information together? Again, it's a, real, it's a real challenge for them. And then finally, of course, you've got the, the need to preserve information security and to retain the trust of the public. So given all of those challenges, which are huge, how can cloud computing actually help the public sector? So cloud computing really has the answers to a number of those issues. Uh, so if you can transform and modernize your IT uh, based around bringing the idea of bringing together your information on a single platform, that spans not only your own department, but also the organization, and then beyond that, your partners, uh, be they other public sector organizations or the private sector. If we can work around a single unified set of data, we can deliver services more efficiently than we can today. Uh, again, whilst uh, delivering those savings and also um, retaining the information security standards that the public expects. Now, every organisation, and in particular the public sector, is very sensitive about security. Yeah. So how can they be assured that actually security is better in the cloud than with the traditional methods? So information security is paramount. Um, and cloud computing solution providers uh, they build their businesses around it. There's, there's a reason why they invest millions of pounds a year and they recognize uh, the need for informa improved information security. The key thing for people to understand is it's a change of security model. So a traditional IT environment is based around a perimeter security model. So how can we harden the firewall, open up the occasional channel via VPN, be very selective about the information we move in and out. I mean, that makes sense, but it, uh, or it made sense at the time, but it doesn't make sense in an environment where you want to collaborate uh, with customers and with partner organizations. You want to work remotely, not uh, occasionally, but by default. Um, or, and it doesn't make sense in an environment where actually, uh, the inf w once the information is out, uh, you want to be able to retain control. So uh, a cloud computing model is all about tackling those problems and moving to a distributed model of security, protects information at rest, in transit, and really gets to know who it is that you're dealing with and the uh, appropriate levels of authentication to approve that. Now you've talked a lot about the public sector and cloud computing. Perhaps you can give me some examples of cloud computing in action. Okay, let's, uh, let's give you a couple. So uh, first is Tandridge District Council, um, and they're using salesforce.com technology uh, to transform the way in which they're delivering built environments, so that's planning, land charges, and building control services. So they've moved away from a model where their data was siloed, inaccessible, and remote working was difficult, uh, if achievable at all, to a situation where uh, they're working with a single system uh, the data is accessible uh, to those that have the right uh, permissions and uh, they can work f wherever they need to as an app uh, on their mobile phone if they, if they like, if they prefer to do that. So uh, that's probably the first example. Uh, but what about the kind of the data center? So it's uh, a lot of local authorities are in the data center business at the moment. One that definitely isn't is Ailes Prevail District Council. So they've moved all of their uh, servers out onto Amazon Web Services and they're seeing reductions as a result. So let's come to Arcus, your company. What are you doing that's actually enabling the public sector to take advantage of cloud computing? So Arcus is offering the expertise and the know-how to help local authorities and the wider public sector make best use of cloud computing. 
Um, so let me take an example. So we're working with Peterborough City Council um, on their digital Peterborough program, starting to deliver some of the business benefits. So looking at their business application suite, but their ambitions go beyond the built environment team uh, to social care, to customer services, uh, to the way in which highways and uh, streets are maintained, to the way in which licensing teams protect the public. And Arcus is there all through that journey, supporting them, investing our own money in, del in uh, delivering a set of pre-packaged solutions with the answers to their questions. So you talked there a lot about the solutions and how the cloud can help. But what about the future? You know, things change all the time. Technology changes, uh, business practices changes. So how flexible is cloud computing to deal with that? OK, so I'd like to talk about two things, I think, there. Agility and risk mitigation or risk management. So on the agility side, the cloud computing technologies that we're working with are designed to be flexible. They're designed uh, to support a range of different businesses. And as a result, they give you unparalleled flexibility to change and respond to the developing needs of the organization. So that could be, we want to work with a new partner. We want to uh, reorganize the teams. We want to change the way in which digital services are presented to customers. All of those things are possible. Uh, on the risk mitigation side, people have got to change their mindset about the way in which they invest in technology. One of the beauties of the cloud computing model is that usage is metered. It's based on what it is that you require at that point in time. So uh, no longer do we need to be making guesses around, oh, well, in five years' time, we might need this amount of computing and storage capacity. If you don't need it, if we're two years down the line, actually something's changed, it's not appropriate anymore, switch it off, stop paying. It's that simple. Well, it's been fascinating finding out more about the cloud. Peter Dewsbury from Arcus Global, thank you very much. Thank you.